While Call of Duty Vanguard has been a bit of a mess over the last few months, I will say it's been one of the most interesting Call of Duty periods that I have been a part of or experienced or witnessed, whatever word you want to use. It's been really wild to watch the ebbs and flows of the dev team, the QA testers, the fan base, the streamers, Activision themselves getting purchased by Microsoft. And now season two is getting delayed and I can't express how grateful I am for that. It certainly does suck because I really was was hoping for more content sooner and it was seemingly right around the corner although it's been pushed back another two weeks to February 14th but in my opinion this is the first real acknowledgement of game breaking bugs it's the first real apology I know we had that letter in the past a couple weeks ago and I know that the devs have fixed a lot of stuff and kind of acknowledged it but there is still so much for them to patch up and today I really do believe that this is the first real apology where they acknowledge their mistakes so I'm gonna go ahead and read to you part of the paragraph that Sledgehammer and Call of Duty have put out to the community. Currently, our community is experiencing issues across Call of Duty, Vanguard, Warzone, Pacific, and Modern Warfare. We feel your frustrations and hear you loud and clear. To date, we've deployed a number of updates, but more needs to be done. For this reason, we have decided to reschedule the start of Season 2 across Warzone, Pacific, and Vanguard to February 14th. We will use this additional development time to deliver updates, including optimizations to gameplay, game balancing, including weapon and equipment balancing, to fix game stability and bugs, and to ensure ensure an overall level of polish to improve the experience for players across Vanguard, Warzone Pacific, Black Ops Cold War, and Modern Warfare. Upcoming implementations will address several concerns raised by the community and other quality of life improvements. Adjusting the core gameplay loop, mechanics, and balance is a continuing and important focus. Fixes will apply to your platform of choice, two generations of consoles, and PC, as well as gameplay in general across all five systems. And then a little note at the bottom, going forward, you can expect to hear more of us regarding Call of Duty's state of play. Studios remain focused on continuously improving your game experience and we greatly value our community feedback. More frequent and detailed communication updates will be posted here and across Call of Duty social channels. Boom! This is the first step in the right direction. I don't know if this has anything to do with Activision being purchased by Microsoft or not. We can't say for sure, but the timing is a little suspect. Why did I say suspect like that? I don't know. The timing is a little suspect. God damn it, I did it again. The timing is a little suspect. I don't understand why they're all of a sudden going to be transparent, but I am happy that they are going to be doing so. That being said, I still want to discuss what we have to look forward to inside of Vanguard Season 2, specifically with zombies. We're going to have a main quest, a new artifact, a new round-based void objective area, new covenants, another new objective, new equipment, a new perk, and new enemy types, as well as our cool gun, our ray gun, and another new wonder weapon. I mean, we have a ton to look forward to, plus all the new locations, and I know Darren Fang is a hot mess. I'm not trying to say it's amazing and everybody should love it, but I am trying to make the best out of a bad situation and I am going to be a little bit more positive and seems like that Activision and Treyarch and Sledgehammer are making the right steps. They have just been bought by one of the biggest corporations in the world and while it is a little bit monopolistic and I'm not totally stoked on all that, it does seem like we're going to be getting more care and more transparency because I do believe Microsoft puts their customers first. Sure, have they made mistakes? Of course. Are we going to get every single thing that we want inside of Call of Duty from here on out? Probably not. But I want transparency so that I know what to expect with the game, with the mode that I love. And I really do think that if we sit here, continue to voice our concerns, to continue to call out the devs when they are not doing a good job and not holding up their end of the bargain, when we call out the player base, when we call out Activision, we continue to do these things. It seems that it's actually working. It took time. It took years. It took a lot of Activision's bad will catching up to them but it finally happened and now we actually have tons of stuff to look forward to tons of optimization to look forward to does this game have a shorter life cycle yeah it does but it's already over like we already have to accept that that's already the truth that's already the reality and the sooner that we can move forward the sooner that we can enjoy this content that's going to do it for this video guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you all in the next one